Hello, hello everybody. How are you doing? I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. Um, today's video is just going to be a really simple concept um, as to what blessings are coming in for you. So I'm very, very excited to take a look. There will be three piles to choose from today. These are the stones. Um, information to book a personal reading with me is down below. Um, I just wanted to say a big thank you for everybody for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, emailing, like it just is truly, it means so much to me. I, I truly don't have the words. So three piles. First pile, we have the rose quartz. Second pile, I don't know what this is. I feel like it looks kind of like amethyst. And third pile, I have no idea what this is. I found this outside. So if you do need to take a, um, I was going to say a break, if you do need to pause, um, you can take a pause here of the video and meditate on which rock you would choose or which crystal you'd like. Um, but I'm going to go ahead here and start with pile number one. Hello, pile number one. If you chose this rose quartz stone, then this is your reading. So I am going to start here with getting um, a few cards here just for your energy. So you can tell if this is the reading for you. If this doesn't resonate, then you might want to pick a different pile. Tell me what's going on here with my pile um, one so I can have clarity as to if this is their reading so they can have clarity. Three of Cups. Okay, that's the first card. Five of Swords. Okay, so you'll know if this is your reading if recently you went through some sort of an emotional um, situation. You could have lost a friend, a partner, been placed in a third-party situation, had people around you who just weren't... Um, <sighs> Definitely didn't have your best interests at heart. You could have found out that there was a lot of fake friends, fake enemies, fake partners, a lot of gossip. Um, you could have even been gang stalked by these three people. I'm looking at them right here or by a group of people. You could have really felt um, very isolated, alone, cold, sad. And like everything you say somehow inspires conflict in others. So this is one of the reasons why um, you you would be choosing this reading. Um, I am seeing Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy as well as Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Mars. Okay, so that's kind of what who you could potentially be. What blessings are coming to my pile ones? Wow, the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower. Oh, my loves. <laughs> with the, with this, this is very unpredictable energy, but I mean, we are talking about blessings. So I will start off by saying that you are going to have a sudden and quick turn of events here, a sudden and quick turn of events. This is going to really um, surprise you. I feel like this could involve possibly travel or bringing new people into your life. The Wheel of Fortune to me is Pisces um, or Sagittarius energy. It's always a Jupiter ruled card. Jupiter to me, reminds me of fortune. So whatever this is, I feel like it's going to be very, very surprising. And I do definitely get a sense that there will be increased fortune um, with this change, with this abrupt, swift, and sudden movement. Now we also have the tower here. So I'm really feeling like this is going to be, you know, through, so tower to me is Mars and Scorpio. So we could be looking at Mars, uh, at Scorpio energy, which I guess at the time of filming, this is right now, really thinking of October, November, and December with the Wheel of Fortune because this is Sagittarius card. So I, I expect that this change um, isn't super far off, my loves. A lot of you will finally be reaping the rewards for what it is that you've been through. You will be reaping um, positive karma for going through the situation here where you were constantly treated poorly, where you were made to feel like shit. Um, you are now actually going to be seeing clarity. You're going to really be having truth based on what happened here. It's like you're finally going to get a break. I, I feel for those of you who have really been struggling, um, where you're like, why can't I ever figure out how to get away from this energy? Um, why, why am I always stuck in these cycles? There's going to be a quick and sudden change of fortune here, okay? This actually feels very, very good. This could involve um, bringing in a higher level soulmate. Three of pentacles, one more. And the star. Oh my gosh, yeah, somebody's gonna come in here who wants to collaborate with you. For some of you, this could be a romantic person. For others of you, this might not be a romantic person, but this could just be somebody who wants to start a work project with you. Either way, with the star there, it's like a wish come true. So I want you to take a look at back when you were going through the hardest, the lowest, the most upsetting days. 
what did you pray for? What did you wish for? Because I feel like that's what's being answered here. That's what's coming in. And because of that, you are definitely going to be in a period here where you're seeing a lot of joy. You're seeing a lot of movement forward on your goals. You're also realigning with people who are a lot more um, on your level is what I'm hearing. So perhaps you were attracting people into your life who weren't necessarily on the same level as you. They just weren't. Whether or not you wanted to, you know, fit a square peg into a round hole, I think that finally you guys came to the understanding that like, look, these are not the people for me. I need to move away from these people. And now because you've been brave enough to move away from them, the universe is blessing you <coughs> excuse me with um people not just any people but people who are aligned i'm hearing soul tribes so people who are very very aligned you guys you could actually be if there was like a group of people um who were gossiping about you or gang stalking you you could literally end up replacing all of those people with better versions death beautiful we have the magician. Wow, you guys are very powerful. This is like master alchemy energy to me, my loves. You could also be going through like a glow up, a body change. Um, You could want to change something about yourself as well. Hair, clothes, get even. I'm hearing um, plastic surgery or something of that nature. Whatever you touch now, it's going to be very fruitful. It's going to be very successful. I feel like people around you will be so surprised by your change that they're almost going to be wondering if you actually used magic to get what you wanted or if you actually used magic to, to move ahead here. That's how like uh, much respect that they're going to have for you. I do feel like you guys are also going to start a creative project or there will just be a return of creativity if that's something that's been lacking. This is going to make you feel very, very good. Very intense energy here. So if you are feeling like you need to transform, do it. Don't hold on to that version of yourself um, unnecessarily. Do you know what I mean? Like I really feel for this particular group, Spirit is saying it's time for you to step through. It's time for you to step into another way of thinking, another way of being, another way of exploring. Whatever happened to you, that, that turmoil that I was sensing when we first tried to identify who you were, it's coming to an end now, but you do need to take um, that situation and really alchemize it so that you're not attracting the same type of people or situations to you once more. I do feel like spirit is bringing you a lot more um, creativity and a lot more aligned people. Like people might actually be like, what is her secret? Like she must be doing magic. And hey, if you are, no shame here. Two of pentacles. Five of Swords, again, yeah, it's like it's time for you to release this. I feel whoever these people are or person um, who's causing that mental conflict for you, you are going to be releasing them with love and grace. It's like you're this bird here and you're finally deciding like, you know what, I'm done with this. And you're taking your step here. You're pulling away from this connection because you just realize that it's not something that you want. It's not something that um, aligns with you. It's not something that resonates with you. So you're pulling your energy away. And because you're pulling your energy away and you're dropping this other pentacle, you're going to really be able to maintain more balance in your life and to actually attract people towards you that are meant to be there, who want to be there, and who are very, very supportive. Beautiful. Let's get more, though. More, more, more. What are the blessings coming, coming in here for pile one? Fornicopia. Beautiful. Thank you. Strategy. A lot more money is going to be coming in, obviously, with that cornucopia, but I also do get the sense here with that strategy card that um, you could actually end up making some very, very wise investments at this time, okay, or an investment you made a long time ago is finally going to start um, paying off. I do feel many of you might be, oh my gosh, I'm hearing buying gold, so you might actually have an interest here in like legitimately buying gold, um, which Spirit is saying that's going to be very fruitful for you, so thanks, maybe I will buy some gold myself. I feel as well, there's a sense here of whatever it is that you've prayed for, whatever it is that you've been manifesting here with the strategy card. I'm looking at that quill. It's like it's finally going to start to happen. So you are going to be seeing the results of manifestations that you planted a long time ago, my loves. Like I'm not talking like, oh, I, um, you know, 
I wanted a free coffee today and so I got a free coffee. Like, yes, that, that could be something that happens to you, but I'm getting some really big manifesting payoffs. So it, it almost feels like there's a little bit of a time delay. So for instance, you could even forget that you asked about this specific thing is what I'm getting here, but expect a lot more of your manifest manifestation skills to be coming in here. Reaping some rewards, community. Thank you. Oh. And what's this guy? The thinking man. Yeah, a lot more people who are aligned with you. I was already picking that up. I was sensing, you know, there was a lot of threes here. So you could be replacing or uh, meeting three new people who are very, very important. For some of you, this could be a romantic person as well. Um, these per people can also have heavy air, air placements in their chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm also hearing Taurus. Um, but it's just like aligning with people who are finally on your level, aligning with people who don't have the intention to hurt you, don't have the intention to always bring you down. It's like they actually want to see you win and they want to see you succeed. And I am once again getting that energy of collaboration. So if you have been wanting to collaborate with people on a project, you're finally going to be attracting the right people to you is really what spirit keeps saying. You're finally going to be attracting the people here who will make you feel like um, you'll understand once you meet these people, why things had to happen the way that they did, why things had to go the way that they did and why you couldn't, you literally couldn't have um, gotten to this level with the people that you had in your past. Patience. Okay, I'm going to take these two for now, and then I'll take that one as well after. Okay, we have patience and broken heart. So a lot of you guys, especially if you have been through a lot of pain um, in terms of love or even, you know, friendships that have broken your heart, it's really time for you to take a step back, okay? It's time for you to take a step back and make sure that you are doing that proper healing. Some of you I'm seeing with that clock there have rushed through the process of healing your heart, and Spirit is saying you can't do that. You have to do this properly so you're not perpetuating cycles, so you're not as um, you're not bringing in people who are going to perpetuate the same kind of stuff you just went through. They're asking, don't you want something new? Because they are wanting to bring you something new. So it's very, very important here to maintain that, to, to try to keep that um, in order. If you need to take an, uh, some time, if you need to take some more time to heal your broken heart, do it. Do it. There's no rush. There's no, there's no need to rush forward um, until you feel ready. But I do also feel like Spirit is saying here, with time, your heart is going to heal. And that is a big blessing that's coming in for you, especially for those of you who have been trying and trying and trying um, to move past this. I know it's always, it's easier said than done, but it's really time. Someone's going to come in here too to help mend that heart. We have this second chakra, Archangel Ariel. That was the other card. And thank you, the Temple Path. Specifically for this group, some of you could have been um, quite celibate. Maybe you're not really, um, you know, exploring your sexuality. What a blessing that's coming in is that you will start to feel more comfortable exploring your sexuality. You are going to feel like that's something you want to do. You, you want to explore, you want to uncover. So I can really expect that you'll be seeing a lot of rewards here um, in terms of tapping into your sexual nature. Again, this could be increased pleasure, increased play, increased creativity, which was already coming through as well. I feel for some of you have really, really like been trying to connect um, to spirit and they're saying we, we appreciate and we love you. Thank you for trying to connect with us. But part of the way that you can also connect with us is by being um, in your physical body. So there is an, a re-anchoring, you guys, of your body into this world. And I think that this is going to make you feel very, very good. Very good. Fascinating. A lot of, a lot of really good things coming in. What other blessings are coming in here for pile of number ones? Thank you. Intuition. You guys are really going to have um, increased intuition as well. Some of you could actually be intuitives or psychics yourself. Owl, why sing wise action? Yes, yes, yes. You guys are going to be blessed with so much intuition. Wow. It's really like the, the amount of clarity that you're going to have on the situation and why it had to happen the way that it did is, is very intense. You really are going to be able to see um, why, why things had to happen. Not only that, but your, 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 um, your intuition going forward is also going to be very much improved. You're going to be feeling very good. You're going to be feeling very aligned. You're going to be feeling very aware. 
it's like you're finally going to see the truth. You're going to see the truth here. You might um, be working with owl as well, or you could have owl here as an animal who's currently working with you. You might want to check in on what that means. Owls could be important to you. As well, I'm getting a lot of prophecies here. So you could actually end up having prophetic dreams. This is a blessing. Spirit's blessing you with increased, um, increased sight because of what you've been through. Unnecessary fear. Whoa. Winter, the sacredness of pausing. Yeah, it's like a lot of you guys are scared that you're going to be in this stagnant energy forever. And Spirit's really coming through here to say that you're not. Don't worry about that. You're not going to be um, in this stagnancy forever. There is going to be change. There will be movement. You will once again find happiness. You're not just going to be um, in this area of not feeling aligned forever. There's something here that you're fearing or you, you it's like, I don't know, there's a deep-seated fear here that you guys have been struggling with and Spirit's saying that only with time are you going to realize that there's nothing to fear here. Um, they're trying to tell you already that there's nothing to fear, but you are struggling. You do feel a little bit concerned still. Um, they're really wanting you to release that fear to them so they can bring you forth more happiness, more alignment, and greater joy. Winter's also going to be a really fun time for you. And again, I was getting... Um, well, I guess I was getting October, November, December. And I think winter is what? December, January, February? Like, is that the official dates? Um, but I feel like you guys are definitely about to have a lot of joy, let's say, with the next, within the next six months. Oh, I want more. Why, why am I wrapping those up? More blessings, please, for pile number one. Thank you. Death. The eternal cycle begins here. And we have skull of flowers coming through the ashes. Wow, like you guys, you've really been through quite a lot here. And what you've been through is really helping you step forward in a lot more of an aligned way. With the, I feel like this is a, a moth, but I, I saw it as a wasp here. I do feel like you could have had a lot of people um, speak very harshly towards you. This is really ending. You're about to have people to, that are coming towards you who really do want to shower you with love, who really do see the value of who you are, who really want to encourage the value of who you are as well. There's a lot more alignment with people who are actually supposed to be in your life and people who don't want to bring you down. In fact, they want to support you. They want to make you feel loved. They want to make you feel seen. Seen, look at the, the skulls there. I do also sense like, again, I'm getting that um, like glow up vibe too. I don't know if you guys are like planning on doing something different with your hair or your 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 body, um, but Spirit is, is saying that if you do go down that line, the results will be, will be really wonderful and in alignment with what it is that you actually wanted. What else here? Pile one. What are the blessings? We have Authenticity. And midnight, the most magical hour of all. Yeah, again, I'm getting the sense here of prophecy. Some of you guys could be having prophetic dreams or feeling really aligned or um, getting a lot coming through in your sleep. That's very important for you to consider. So I would expect to see a lot of um, shifting or a lot of, um, again, messages being delivered in your dream state. You guys might want to consider keeping a dream journal. I'm also looking at her cool purple hair, so or pink. I don't really, I can't really tell what color that is. Um, but some of you could want to do something, you know, different or unique. It's like you're really wanting to step into a better, more authentic version of yourself. Not a better one, but a more authentic version. It's like those parts of you that you stuffed down to make others like you or to make others support you. It's like you're finally done with that. You know, you're really like, you know, I, I don't want to play small for anybody. I deserve to be seen for who I am as well. Beautiful. So that's what I have for you today, Pile 1. I do hope that that resonated. Um, if it did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. All right. Hello, Pile 2. How are you? If you chose this beautiful stone right here, then this is your reading. Okay, so I'm going to start here by getting a few cards as to what like what position you're currently in. Um, this is kind of to, to make us see, you know, is this the reading for you? Um, and if it's not, you can go back and pick another um, pile or you can just continue to watch this pile and trust that there's a message in here anyways. So we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, one more. Okay, I'm going to take both of them. The Three of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Wow. 
Okay, my love, so you'll know if this pile is for you. If you're somebody who's been um, going through a lot of anxiety, pain, confusion, there could have been heartbreak, a lot of harsh words, very, very strong air sign energy here, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. A lot of sadness, a lot of um, feeling mentally stuck as well. Um, I feel people could have been quite mean to you. Perhaps you've had a lot of conflict with people in your life. Mental conflict, emotional conflict. I feel like many of you have retreated as well. So those of you in this group, I do get a sense here of isolation. And I feel for many of you, you're feeling a little bit stuck with your life and wondering like, when are things gonna move forward? So this is a sign that this could be your reading. Okay. So what's going on with pile number twos, please? What is the blessing coming in for them? Okay. We have the page of pentacles and we have the queen of pentacles. Wow. Okay, so definitely an increase here in finances. Some of you could be at the page right now and you're jumping to the to the queen status, which is pretty great. So there could be an increase or a gift um, in terms of financial abundance. Or finally, a project that you've been working on is going to start to pick up. Finally, it's like you're going to start to see um, the fruits of your labor come to light. I am getting that energy coming through as well. For some of you, you could have two very important people coming into your life, okay? One of these could be a younger earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. One of these could be an earth sign your age or slightly older, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn once again. So you are being aligned here with more um, people. I'm also hearing family. So for those of you who have been stressed here about your family members, I'm hearing spirit say that though that's going to be okay to not stress more about that, to not... To not um, to not invest any more fear in that because they're working on it. I don't know what that means. As well, some of you could be increasingly focused here on your body, on your your personal health, your um, physical health, as well as your mental health, but I'm getting very physical, physical things. Some of you could end up making a big purchase here as well. I'm hearing <laughs> condo on the lake. I don't know who's that score. Ace of Cups, beautiful. Wow. And the chariot. Holy smokes. Okay, my loves, you do have... um. An offer here now sometimes to me the ace of cups it's the only ace i read as reconciliation so this could be someone from your past or this could be a new energy this person i feel has very heavy cancer energy sun moon rising um venus mars i'm even hearing jupiter as well so this person could be coming in here quite rapidly or you could um they could come in during cancer season which is june july this person wants to come in and offer you a lot of love. If they are someone from the past, they do want um, to make an apology. They've been thinking about that quite a lot. But I'm also sensing if it's a new person that they are coming with an open heart um, and they want to give you a new start in terms of love. Now, it's funny because we have three court cards here. or well, not court cards. I guess this is a major arcana. But there could be up to three new people coming into your life. Some of you could also travel to a destination that feels really fun to you. This could be a, a place that you visited before with that Ace of Cups, indicating to me nostalgia or going back. Some of you could be going home to visit family. I'm hearing for the holidays. Thank you, Spirit. So some of you could be going back um, during the holiday season. Some others of you, though, I just feel like you're going to travel to a place. Even if it's a new place, you'll feel very happy being there. It's like your soul has been there before. So there's a sense here of like... Um, I've been here, you know, like I know this place. So very, very cool energy. Wow. I'm very excited for you. Those are great cards to start with. What else? What else? Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card. Yeah, it's like the, something you've been working on is finally going to start to pay off. You're finally going to start to see the fruits of your labors. This is going to make you feel very, very good, very happy, very aligned, um, kind of like just joy. It's going to be like joy and pleasure in work, especially for those of you who have not been feeling that lately or haven't been feeling the creative um, spark. There's going to be an increase here in pleasure, okay? Especially when it comes to your work and what you're doing in terms of your work. So wonderful, wonderful energy here. I feel like this is going to make you be, you're going to be feeling very, very happy, very aligned, very much um, ready to tackle things too. I'm getting increased vigor too. Like you're just going to feel better. You're going to feel more um, awake, alert, energized thank you spirit that's the word you want and we're going to do two more here what else wheel of fortune i love it and judgment as well my loves those people who had treated you poorly those people who made you feel like you were worthless like shit um they're going to be facing some really really bad karmic consequences for what they did to you so i don't know if you see that as a blessing or if that's something you've been wanting but let me tell you they are definitely going to regret and rue the day that they treated you poorly okay like i am very much seeing that quite strongly um so you can expect that to to really come to fruition as well 
yeah, it's like they're not going to get away with what they did to you. So don't worry about that. If you've been wondering, like, why haven't they, you know, why haven't they gotten in trouble for what they did to me? Don't worry, spirit saying that is coming. Okay, that's coming. Fascinating. Okay, let's see what else we can pull here. What blessings are coming from my pile twos? The temple path. I'll take this guy. Cornucopia. Okay. So those of you who have been really um, creating and supporting and maintaining a connection here with spirit, you're really going to start to see results. You could start to see um, fruition here through your prayers being answered, or there's just a sense of the divine really taking notice of you for your for your um, care. So especially for those of you who have been really like working your ancestor altars, praying, meditating, writing, you know, thanking, making gratitude lists, I do feel like you're, you're really going to start to see things um, exploding in the right direction for you. This is going to make you feel very, very good, very taken care of, very much loved, very much supported here as well as what I'm hearing from spirit. Um, some of you could even visit a sacred site, like a temple or like a na like nature. Nature to me is sacred. Um, and that's really going to help you align as well and, and see the, the, the value of what it is that you've gone through. We do have 11 and then 12. So you, you could also be just, you're just moving forward, you know, like there's a sense here of movement. Beautiful. Oh, and with that cornucopia card, money. Seven chakra, Archangel Uriel. Thank you. And we have contract. Yeah, it's like a lot of these people who caused you so much pain and so much heartbreak, um, they did it for a reason, you know? Like, I feel like you guys had a karmic contract you needed to close out here. And so now that that's done, Spirit can finally bring you the new, new people. They can finally bring you um, increased alignment with other people as well. So I do feel like you guys are going to be really seeing and meeting a lot of new people. Wow. Yeah, it's and it also I'm getting knowledge. Some of you could be blessed with a download here, or you could end up taking a spiritual course that's very, very important for you or really helpful in terms of um, expanding your light and helping you see the truth about what it is that you need to do, about where it is that you need to go next as well. More alignment is what I'm hearing too. You're going to be feeling really good, really aligned. The world. fifth chakra archangel gabriel yeah you guys are, are entering a new chapter okay brand new like that's it you're finished um as well with this uh fifth chakra here it's like and all the blues you're finally going to be able to speak up you're going to be able to share your truth this is going to provide a lot of clarity for people around you um and also yourself it's like you're finally going to be able to give um words to whatever it is that's been holding you back or making you feel sad or left out you're finally going to be able to share this openly okay share this and really be able to, to move forward as well. I'm getting master manifester energy here. So with this comes the caveat, be careful what you speak. Cause I do feel like you guys could talk about things and then they like immediately happen or something like this. So just be mindful of what you're bringing in here. I really want you to use your words here to your advantage because spirit is saying that they are very much listening to you and it's almost like an instant manifesting thing. Very, very cool. Um, some of you could have an opportunity or something published or get um, some sort of accolade as well for something that you've done. Financial constraints. The thinking man. Yeah, some of you will discover a new way for you to make and earn money, okay? You're really gonna have more alignment as to a different path, a different stream of income. There's gonna be more money coming in than you than you had before. This is gonna make you feel very, very good, very um, aligned is what Spirit's saying. There's a sense here of a lot of growth as well, a lot of happiness. Um, a lot of, like, I'm just seeing a bank account growing. So again, wise investments here. I am hearing cryptocurrency for some someone here. Might be investing in that. Um, some of you might actually hire an advantage, uh, an advantage, a financial advisor, someone who on your financial team or get somebody to help you do your budgeting. This will also be very fruitful is what I'm hearing from Spirit. Beautiful. I love to see it. Let's see what else we can get though. What else here? Thank you. Cauldron, synergy and healing. What other blessings are coming for pile twos? 
vampire, emotional intelligence in reverse. Yeah, you guys are healing from these low-grade narcissists who were really stealing your energy and manipulating you being um, emotional vampires. Um, I feel like for you guys, you could, could be naturally empathic, which means you attract lower vibrational narcissists. This is coming to an end as well. You're finally alchemizing is what I'm hearing. You're able to take that, forgive yourself for getting stuck in that situation. Forgive this person for putting you in that situation. And by doing this, you're moving forward with grace and ease and dignity. There's a lot of love and a lot of um, pride that Spirit has for what it is that you've done. You've really, really worked incredibly hard here. And Spirit is saying thank you for the work that you've done. Um, we know that this hasn't been easy for you, but we appreciate the fact that you stuck stuck through this. Very, very cool energy here. Um, and again, it's like that, that energy of attracting people in towards your life who are actually meant to be there for you, who actually want to be there for you. That's also very strongly coming through here as well. Some of you might want to take a cooking class as well. I don't know why that just came through. Spider community and web rearing. Whoa, okay. Falling much? One more. Thank you. The witch. The earthly weaver of the worlds. So some of you are also going to be um, gaining a new community, a new community of people who actually want to help you, a new community of people who actually want to care for you. Yeah, it's like you're really putting an end. I feel like some of you um, as well have had some magic cast against you. And so if you've been doing like a return to sender or anything like this, you're finally going to start to see the payoff of that. Okay, there's going to be movement. Um, finally, 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 I'm hearing. I do feel you're going to be feeling a lot more aligned, happy. You're going to really see the truth of why, why this had to happen to you. And because of this, and again, because of that forgiveness energy, you are able to now attract people who are on your same level. This is going to add a lot of joy and a lot of happiness to you as well. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's like you're done. You're done. You have a lot better... Um, like of a radar is what spirit's saying. You, you're able to, to see these new people coming in and to really see the truth about who they are. And you can utilize this to your advantage as well. What else? The future. One more. Hearth, happiness in our hearts and homes. Yeah, the, the future for you guys is very happy. You're going to see a lot of joy coming in. There's going to be a lot of happiness in your home life as well. I was even getting for some of you, maybe somebody here could be purchasing a new home. Um, some of you could just, it's like you're, you're feeling very taken care of. Fire energy always makes me feel aligned and happy as well. So I do feel for many of you, you could be feeling very happy, very aligned, very much, um, I don't know, it's just like this feeling of, happiness of joy of like you know when you have like warm soup and then you're just sitting there and you feel like all warm in your body <laughs> that's kind of how I feel you guys will be feeling like very content thank you spirit that's the word <laughs> very content um but yeah now I want some soup yeah um so anyways it's also like uh, trusting that whatever is going to happen next is meant for you I really am getting that energy here as well <laughs> okay Thank you so much, Pile 2. That's what I have for you today. Um, if this resonated, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I am so grateful for you for being here. Have a wonderful day. May you remain blessed and safe and happy wherever you are. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 3. If you chose this massive rock here, then this is your pile on what blessings are coming your way. So first I'm going to pull a few cards here to, to try to identify what's been going on with you. Um, this will help you discover if this is the right pile for you or not. Um, if not, you can always go back to the start and pick a different pile, or you can just continue and trust that there's a message for you anyways. So spirit guides, angels, and ancestors come through, please. What's going on with pile threes right now? The moon. What's going on with pile threes? Why, why might they be here? Queen of Cups and Seven of Coins. Okay, so this pile might be for you if you would identify as a empath, healer, psychic, or intuitive yourself. Um, I feel like many of you guys could have very strong um, water energy in your chart, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming through as well as Earth, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? You guys have sometimes been wondering um, why there hasn't been fruition or growth in the seeds that you've planted or why nobody wants um, equal give and take. Why doesn't anybody want to give as much as they want to take from you? That's also another energy coming through. 
Um, some of you could have a lot of very deep-seated fears that are coming up. You could have problems sleeping. Um, there could also be a little bit of mental instability, anxiety, or depression here coming through as well. I feel like for many of you guys, you've been feeling stuck and or stagnant. So that is how you'll know if this is the right pile for you, if any of those things resonated. Okay, so Spirit, can you please tap me into the collective here, pile three? What blessings are coming their way? Six of pentacles and the eight of cups. Okay, you are regaining balance here after walking away from something in the past. It's like you really are now able to see clearly who around you is there to bring you joy who and who around you is there to really destroy you. So this is allowing you to see much more clearly um, who you want in your life and who you must get rid of. So you're, you're really focusing as well on yourself. I do feel for many of you, there's a, a, an increased um, feeling of health, increased feeling of finances, and it's all because you're prioritizing your own mental health over everything else. I feel in the past, you could have prioritized other people over yourself, and now it's like spirits saying, no, 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 and they want you to reverse and focus once again on yourself. Some of you could have a chance to go on a solo adventure like what I'm doing right now, um, or you could even end up connecting here with a special animal. Um, some of you could be getting a pet as well. That's going to bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment if that does happen. For some of you, your pet is coming through to say hi. Ten of Cups and the Three of Wands. There's also going to be a lot more happiness here. And I do feel like this is happiness after conflict. I feel like maybe you guys have been placed in situations in the past where you haven't been valued. And sometimes you're wondering, like, where is my Ten of Cups? Where is that happiness for me? Will I ever get that? And Spirit is saying, yes, you will. You have to continue to climb forward, continue to have faith, continue to put your faith in us, and we will bring you this Ten of Cups. But right now, the focus needs to be on yourself. That needs to be the prior, the main priority in terms of happiness. So I do feel you guys are going to be feeling a lot more happy, a lot more aligned, a lot more um, clear about what it is that you want to have happened, what it is you want to bring in. Of course, this is only going to help you bring that thing in quicker. It's only going to help you realign a lot quicker as well. Continue to climb the ladder, though. Continue to um, strive for your dreams. I am hearing travel as well for some of you. Some of you could finally be able to um, action that dream trip you've been holding on to. Wow. Yeah, some of you could have dreams of going somewhere far. I'm hearing Europe. And a lot of like, I'm hear hearing culture. So I feel like you guys could really get immersed as well in um, learning about another culture. Page of coins and the 10 of wands. Yeah. It's like people around you who are um, immature, who didn't want to give to you, who are overburdening you. You're cutting those people off as well. There could be someone here, here who you were giving a lot of money to, who was draining um, your finances, who was just draining your energy as well. And you're finally cutting that off. You're really reassessing what you need to do here in terms of your own happiness. This is going to bring you a lot of um, blessings. Just that reassessment, just that saying like, no, I'm putting an end to this. I'm no longer allowing people to come in and take a away what I need. I'm no longer allowing people to come in and drain my energy, drain my money, drain my resources. I need to prioritize myself. Again, I'm noticing how these animals are looking at her. So some of you could just have like increased communication with animals coming through. Knight of Wands. Blessings coming in for pile threes. Ten of Coins. Okay, so creativity is definitely something I'm seeing here that's going to be improved as well. Some of you are putting an end to a situation here where you could have been with an F boy or F girl um, and walking away from this person is really going to help you actually reach your 10 of pentacles, which is the most secure and abundant connection one could hope for. Um, so it's like in by, by moving away from this energy, you're actually inviting in a lot more stability and you're actually aligning with people who are a lot more on your level, who are a lot more ready to give you what you want, who are a lot more there for you. Um, you will get that generational wealth. You will have that stable, loving um, connection, but it was all part of walking away from this that no longer served you. It's kind of your way of reaffirming to spirit. No, I deserve better. Better. I deserve better. Yeah, you're done. You're done. I keep seeing the world here. You're done. You're over this, this cycle. You're, you're ready to step into a new stage of your life. And I feel like some of you beat yourselves up over the amount of time. Okay, it took spirit saying stop that. Angel of balance. 
Blessings for pile three. The thinking man. Wow. Some of you are creating a lot more balance in your life. This is going to help with your anxiety for some of you. Some of you could also be studying something new or really under, like look at the way she's looking at this little lamp and he's looking at this little crystal. So it's like you guys are finally aligning um, with some sort of study or a realm of study here that's a lot more in alignment with you. For some of you, this could be spiritual based or something spiritual that's really going to add a lot of happiness and joy into your life. Others of you are just going to get the illumination that you've been waiting for. Um, some of you are scrutinizing something way too closely here. So you're trying to really um, examine something. You're turning it over in your hands. You're wondering, why did this have to happen? Why did that have to happen? Spirit saying, put a rest to it. And that's when the answers will come. You're looking too closely at something. So some of you will finally get the perspective that you've been wanting and hoping for. Um, again, I am looking at the pyramids behind her. So some of you could be going on an international trip. Indecision. Okay. the world oh my gosh yeah the world. i told you guys you're done i'm like you're finishing this cycle you guys are like f this i'm out bye um and you're really putting a close or an end to this that's great i'm so happy for you guys so again a lot more movement forward because you finally are making that decision you're making the decision to be like you know what i'm over this bye like i'm not i'm no longer i um, interested in this connection or whatever it is that's holding you back you're done you're really done and because of that you're able to align much greater um with with happiness you're able to align much more clearly with the joy that you do deserve as well coming in yeah you guys are done especially if this person was deceitful or betrayed you i feel like you guys are really putting an end to that you you're like so over it it's not even funny what other blessings are coming for pile three patience envy wow yeah you're about to have everything my loves and because of this you're going to be attracting a lot of lower vibrational people who envy you or perhaps this is where you're coming from and you've had a lot of people in the past envy you but it's like because of what you've been through and because of your ability to really try to move things forward safely you're going to be really entering a space here in your life where there will be a lot more clarity a lot more truth you're really going to be better aligned with what it is that you need to know going forward that realignment is so important for you um, because it's going to bring in new people as well with that patience and the clock there. Spirit's really wanting you to know that you're not running out of time. So you need to put that um, energy or put that thought away because I feel like sometimes that can really affect the way that you're thinking about yourself. They're saying you're not running out of time. There's nothing but time left here. Stop beating yourself up. Um, even if you had to go a slightly different route, it doesn't mean you're not going to get to the final destination as well as what they're saying here. I'm also hearing clothing. Maybe some of you could be going on a shopping trip. Oh my gosh, spirit. Okay. What other blessings? Mine holding a coin. Appreciation. Wow. Yeah. Money's going to be a lot better. Okay, money is going to be really, really looking up for some of you could be attracting a partner coming to your life that's wealthy or equally as wealthy as you, a giver, somebody who wants to really um, give to this connection. This person could also have earth in their chart, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. I don't know why I said also, maybe some of you have that in your chart as well. I'm getting very earthy vibes. Um, it's just attracting more people to you who are going to appreciate you for, for who you are, for the magic of who you are, for, for the value of who you are. These are people who want to align with you, who want to give to you, who want to nourish you you who want to nurture you not just take from you which is perhaps who it is that you've attracted here in the past the sheer joy that's about to, to um, open up for you is quite large so I just want you to really expect that I do feel like for many of you this is some sort of a romantic partnership or this person um, will strike some sort of romantic interest in you um, I feel like <laughs> the Spirit's saying that you guys are just going to be looking very good too. So that's always a blessing. We like to look good. That's great. What else? Thank you. The Witch, the Earthly Weaver of the World. Okay. Blessings coming in for pile threes, please. Blessings coming in for pile threes, please. Blessings. What blessings are coming in for pile threes? What blessings? Thank you authenticity yeah it's like you guys are finally stepping into your own for some of you who do have very um strong powers here or who are very naturally witchy or psychic you're finally stepping into that okay you're being more um called to lead with that you're no longer hiding that part of you away you're no longer hiding that part of you aside either you really are in the state here of um 
being very honest, being honest about what it is that you want, being honest about um, what it is, who you are as well. This is really going to be very helpful in bringing forth people who are a lot more aligned with you because they're going to be able to see the truth of who you are, the, the expression of who you are here. Some of you have a fear about being your authentic selves, but Spirit's kind of saying that you're putting that to rest. And now you're, you're in a state where you are a lot more authentic and they are really going to bless you tenfold for that. What else? Hidden talents. Yeah, what, what did I just say? I feel like some of you are like very, very skilled um, and you just don't want to share it or you feel like some of you might actually start making money from that as well. Joy. Rejoicing in the present. Beautiful. A lot more excitement, a lot more joy, a lot more happiness. Um, I do feel for some, I'm hearing singing. Some of you could be really good singers. For some of you, it's important here that you just share, share your voice is what I keep hearing. So you're going to have more opportunities to share your voice. Not only that, but you're going to have more opportunities or people are actually going to want to um, really listen to you. Whoops. <laughs> They're going to want to listen to you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And so I feel like you guys should really prepare to have a lot more people watching you or a lot more eyes on you as well. Look at how powerful she looks. I just feel like you guys are like, you're looking to the sky, you're focused on your shit. You're not really um, wanting to get caught up here in anybody else. It's like because of that, because of your authenticity and because of your um, ability to step forward, you're going to be very, very blessed. Very blessed. Blessings, please. Thank you. Exploring wildness. Thank you. Blind spots. Yeah, you guys are going to start. You might even go on a solo adventure. I think I already said that, but there might be a little bit of travel involved here. For others of you, you're going to really start to see where your blind spots are, where maybe you've been playing small, where maybe you've not been seeing things clearly. This is really going to help you align as well to be like, you know what? I'm not comfortable doing this anymore. I want to be better. I want to do better. Um, and because of that, Spirit's really going to bless you as well because you see the truth of a situation. It's like illumination, you guys. You're finally going to see why things had to happen exactly the way that they did, which of course can be very difficult for us when we're in the moment, but often is very, very important as well. I feel like you guys are also, there's gonna, um, there's like increased sexuality is also what I'm picking up here on here, actually looking at this card as well with all of the oranges. Um, I do feel like you guys will be feeling very sexy. You might be feeling very much, um, you might be experiencing a little bit more pleasure as well. This is all because you're tapping into your authentic self. And it's like, now you have clarity too. What else? What else here, Spirit? Trick or treat, mischief and play, but it's in reverse. What else? Protection. Yeah, Spirit's protecting you from, from anyone who um, wants to come in and be a little shit towards you anymore. It's like anyone who's coming in here who really wants to um, cause mischief or cause problems in your life, that ends is what Spirit's saying. That really does end. Um, you're now in a state where you're attracting people who are aligned with you, who are there for you, who are really more on board with what it is that you're doing, what it is that you're focusing on. Wow, you guys are going to be so blessed, like so blessed, because it's like the quality of people around you is going to improve substantially. This is going to really help you see the light, see the truth about where you want to go next. What do you want to do next? It's like you'll finally have the alignment so you can make the best decisions for yourself. Not only that, but you'll have the support as well. So that is what I have for you today, Pile 3. If that resonated, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, to book a personal reading with me, that information is in the little box. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in here. I really do appreciate your support. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are. Um, stay healthy, happy, and blessed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.